Hello and welcome back <clears throat> to Revenger and Sports and another, I guess this would be a, a walk down memory lane. So I was doing a repair on a bike today and I came across a tire that I had not seen in several years. They used to be really popular for, for some time and I personally used them for quite some time as well. And it was a Tufo tubular clincher. Now, it seems like a confusing uh, or an oxymoron, a tubular clincher. Yeah. So what this was, was a tire that was all encased, completely closed off like a tubular, but mounted on your clincher rim. So you did not need a specific tubular rim. In fact, it wouldn't work on a tubular rim. So it would only work on a clincher rim. And then this rubber base here would, would then uh, hook on. So this bead would hook on to your rim. So you had a tubular ride quality. Um, and then you had the convenience of a clincher in the sense that you didn't have to glue a tire onto your rim. So convenience in the sense that no gluing, but you still had to replace the entire tubular clincher. If you got a flat, you couldn't just put a tube in it and keep going. So just to, to, to give you a, a foundation of knowledge. So this is a tubular, right? So you take this tubular tire and you put glue on the tire, put glue on the rim, and you glue this tire to the rim. And <clears throat> it kind of looked like this. Now, of course, this is just for illustration purposes. You would put that glued tire onto a rim. Now, this rim is different then a clincher rim, this, this just has a bed for the tire to sit on and be adhered onto it by one, the glue, and two, air pressure. It just pushes as the tire continues to expand as you air it up, it just continues to constrict itself onto the rim. And in the days of carbon clinchers, the DLAM situation of uh, brake tracks heating up and delaminating that was more for the carbon clincher, but the, the tubulars no issues, right? Uh, so that you can see some residual glue there. So if you had a a, tub, a Tubular tire spare tied to the back of your uh, Seat rails you could just take that put that on here because it's contact cement so it only sticks to itself doesn't stick to your hands and stuff the, the the glue is dry okay so this was a little bit of a pain right so you had to glue it you had to put it on and then if you got a flat and you had to carry one in the back and then put it on and all that stuff right so <clears throat> they said somebody said well you know if we can get the ride quality of a tubular but <clears throat> we get the convenience of a clincher then we could have this right so tire completely encases uh, the tube inside and then you have your bead one o'clock you have your bead to hook on to your rim so in case you still don't know what I'm talking about this is your standard setup you have your tube and you have a tire that the tube sits inside like that and that is conceivably the easiest and simplest uh, system and then we have tubeless so tubeless as the name implies there is no tube and you have sealant inside to help you uh, puncture uh, to help you seal up punctures while you're on the road okay well I just wanted to share that with you because I don't see these come through the shop that often and as far as I know, the only company that made them was Tufo, T-U-F-O. It's in the title. And um, yeah, 
just thought I'd share that with you because uh, I don't see that that often and maybe some of you used it in the past. So I'd like to know what kind of experiences did you have with those and uh, did, you, uh, did you fly without a net? In other words, did you ride these tubular clinchers and not carry a, a spare tire in the back? Because you had to carry an entire tire just like this one. Um, oh, and the reason, the other reason why I mentioned it or I wanted to mention it is because I'm working on a lady's bike and I honestly don't think that she had this tire on there. And I believe her husband used to do all the service on the bikes. So he put this tubular clincher on her bike and she, I'm sure she didn't know what it was. Uh, when she picks up the bike, I'll debrief her or maybe I'll send her this video, but there's no rim strip now. Um, so with that tubular clincher, you don't use a rim strip. So when I removed this tire, when I was starting to remove it, I was like, oh, this is what this is. And, and of course now I need to install some rim strip for her. Okay. Well, that's all for today. Please like, and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.